Hey everybody, um, this is the review for Transformers Friends of the Fallen Superion 5 pack Silver Bolt. Um, yes. Um, is it like a space shuttle? I guess, because you can do it like that. Yeah. Um, Kind of reminds me from G1, the uh, shovels they would use um, to escape off of Earth when the base is being attacked by yeah, we'll in the movie. So, and this piece can detach with this cockpit, so, yeah. Um, he does not have an engine chip, I don't know. Maybe I missed it, I don't know, but... You, yeah, um, he never got a weapon or an energy chip, so, maybe I missed something, maybe I accidentally threw it out, um, I don't know, but, yeah, very nice jet mode, though, like it, um, only downfall is, uh, these blue pegs here, that's it. Well, yeah, there's all these scratch marks, but that's... I didn't get it like that. So, Transformer, you just flip up the landing gear. And then take these to the arms. Bring them down. Flip the wings up. And rotate them like that. Then you take the nose cone and just unsnap it. And flip it up. Take the legs. And then bring them down there. Bring them down again. Bring them out, take this, bring it down, and flip out the heel. So, go like this, bring it down like that, bring it down, rotate it around. The other was facing forward, and there you go. Um, he did have little pieces here, but I don't like them. They didn't really do anything for me except get in the way. So I just took them off. And what you do with the nose cone, you just turn it around and then bring it that part down. If you can see that, it kind of looks like Omega Supreme. From the angle I'm looking at him because I'm above my camera. So, you bring the head down, flip down these panels, and they should tap into the shoulders. Like so, just bring them down. Tap into the shoulders and then rotate the head around. There you go. Um, if you want him to have a legit saw weapon, yeah, you could use his landing air tender saws, I guess, but that's the only real weapon he has. Other than the fact that he can hold, like, his. Like the uh, limb, people's arms, like weapons, but you can give him like a mech tech weapon and do it in his hand and he looks fine. So, um, yep, robot mode, um, nice, it's a hollow chest, but whatever, um, the pegs on here, like arms. Wings, um, very nice robot mode. I really like it. The face, um, I love the face. Um, focus on me, but yeah, you get the idea. Um, um I don't know why this one. Oh, that, there you go. It's not lopsided. Um, articulation. I forgot to do articulation for everybody else, but it's mainly just ball joints. Except for the head, which is a swivel. And the feet, which are hinges. That's it for every single one, except for this guy. His head's on a swivel joint. This his arms can uh, swivel. They have a pivot here. And here. 
and they have a double jointed elbow, which is good. And they have a swivel right there, and you no know, wrist movement. And the legs are on ratchets. <clears throat> the knees do bend like that. So yes, I've knee movement. I always thought it didn't. I thought I always thought it was uh, backwards knees. So. But I've just found that out. So then, uh, foot, feet. Okay, now we go like that and that. If you want, but. So you can have some poses, but. Yeah, for size comparison, here he is next to uh, Prowl. So he's an average deluxe. He's just a bit taller than Prowl. But Prowl is like looking down. He's a bit taller than Pearl, so I'd say he's in between Voyager and Deluxe. Um, let's see if I can get a good shot of them together. Move him way to the back, and then put air raid in there. Oops. And there, and then put in him. He doesn't really want to stand. And there's him. Right there. And the other one. Right there. And there they are all together. They look really nice together. So. Yeah. That's it for this video. Um, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next part, which is the combination and superior on himself.